Did Jesus appoint a Pope? Seven questions about the office of the Catholic Pope. An independent perspective. For several centuries, our Roman Catholic friends have asserted the primacy of their church and of their Pope based on a single Bible text. You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. When Jesus spoke to Peter, saying he would build his church upon this rock, to what rock was Jesus referring? Query 1. Who is this rock? Although Jesus employed an obvious wordplay between Petros and Petra, Peter himself later revealed that the Petra is Jesus. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men but in the sight of God chosen and precious, a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense. Query 2. In what way did Peter employ the keys of the kingdom? Peter himself explained how it was his privilege to open the kingdom first to Jews and later to Gentiles. Brothers, you know that in the early days God made a choice among you, that by my mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. To Jewish seekers, Peter said, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And concerning the first Gentile seekers, Can anyone withhold water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit, just as we have? Query 3 did Peter enjoy unique authority amongst the apostles? Although Jesus gave to Peter authority to bind and to loose on earth that which would be bound and loosed in heaven, Jesus later gave the same authority to all of his apostles. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Query 4 did Peter establish the one apostolic church? All of the churches established by all of the apostles remain equal, for the apostle Paul wrote, To the church of God that is in Corinth, to those sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints together with all those who in every place call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Query 5. Did Peter pass on his apostolic office to a succession of popes? Nowhere did Peter confer his apostolic office to another, nor to a college of church officers. Rather, during his lifetime, he recognized the office of his equals as well as the superior office of Jesus Christ. I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock, and when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Query 6. So then, who is the Pope today? Since Jesus neither appointed a pope nor a human replacement for himself, he himself remains the head of his church. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. Query 7. Should we obey and believe in the Catholic popes? If you are a Catholic, then you may feel obliged to submit to the Pope and his magisterium. Otherwise, we are all called to a life of submission to legitimate authorities. 
God and his laws, Christ and his commandments, the Holy Spirit and his guidance, Scripture and its precepts, elders and their teaching, parents and their instruction, spouses and their needs, employers and their wishes, governors and their taxes, officers and their orders, the Constitution and its articles, contracts and their stipulations.